Welcome once again to Ask the Techies. I'm D. Lee Beard, and today I want to show you how to, you can figure out how far are you walking, how far are you jogging. A neat way that you can measure the distance between anything uh, or any path using Google Earth. Very simple. Let me show you, and you can measure it in meters, feet, nautical miles. Let me show you. So you open your Google Earth application, you go into a location that you want. Here's the JMU Arboretum, and along here you can see the little path that they've, they've actually got that laid out for you, which is nice. Shows you the little walking paths throughout the Arboretum. And let's say you jog or walk that as an exercise, and you wonder, how far am I actually walking? How much exercise am I getting? Well, let me show you how you can check that. And up here at the top, there is two, two tools. One is just to show you a ruler to like measure a certain distance. So if I wanted to know, from one point to another point, you can click on that. I'm just going to pull this off to the side. And then you can measure, and you can choose yards or one of the other measurements. But if I do yards, then I can just basically come over here and choose a point, like say from here, and let's say to here. And it shows me that it is 288.79 yards. So it gives you an idea of a distance between two points as the crow flies a direct line, point to point. But the more useful tool in here is the path tool. The path tool will allow you to add multiple points. So let me show you how. I'm just going to shrink this down a little bit. Pull this up. And under measurements, you can choose what you want, whether you want miles or yards, whatever. I'm going to check, check miles. Oh, well, they even have smoots. <laughs> okay. Um, and then basically you come over here to the map and you can push this off to the side if you want. Um, and then you just start where you want. Well, right over here is the parking lot, so I'm going to start here. So I come in and I park the car and I get out and then I come out here and you just tap and add an extra point every time you get to a new spot. You know, it's, a, it's an approximation, but the, the more points you put in, the better accuracy you're going to get regarding how far you're going. So I'm just going to go through here and add several points to figure out how far I'm going. And let's say I go back on this path instead of that other one, and up to here, and then down here, up to there, up to here, and then up to here, and then back up to my car. There we go. And of course you can zoom in if you want to. So it tells me right now that my distance is 1.21 miles. So that's how far. If that's the, the walk that I do, that's what I do. I need to do it twice if I want to get in two and a half miles. I need to do it four times if I want to get in five miles. Now let's say you decided, well, what if I tried an alternate route? Well, you can come over here and you can choose these points and you can move them. So let's say I actually wanted to go on this path instead. Well, I can click on this and drag it and pull it up here. There we go. And I can pull uh, this one over here and then pull that one over there. That one will put right there at that point. And if I need another one, because I want to add another point in here, all I have to do is click on the point that I've, that's next to it, and then just come over and tap a new point. So if I need to add another one over here to say I climb up here for some silly reason, then I can do that. Or if I say, oops, <laughs> just kind of put it back over there. Now you can't undo, um, uh, when you're done with this, you can't just undo the last point. There is no feature to do that. You have to cancel out and do the whole thing. So do be careful. One of the things you have to be careful of is accidentally brushing your mouse with a pointer down or as I have with this pen device. Watch what happens. Whoops, I just added a whole bunch of points. <laughs> and you can't really just go in and uh, easily delete all of that. You're better off just starting over and doing it again. So do be careful not to do this or you're going to get all kinds of crazy nonsense. And uh, it looks like as I do this, <laughs> I'm now up to six miles if I just go crazy and jog throughout the Arboretum like a madman. <laughs> Cancel and it's not there. If you do click OK, you can save it, you can title it, and you can say my jogging path and you can view your, your paths and you can even take a screen capture or save the file and send it to share it with other people. Okay, I'm going to click cancel on that. <laughs> That's how you can measure distances between one point and another. Hopefully you find this helpful. Uh, next video I'm going to show you how you can do a photo overlay on top of a map such as a neighborhood plat map for where the borders are for property lines. All right, so tune in. See you next week.